What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case RK's video. On this one today, we got another bar top custom artwork for a old high school friend. So off the bat, real quick before we even start this video, I gotta show off the newest addition to the garage to my shop and that is baby monitor. <laughs> it is that real so I'm in my garage I got literally baby right there baby Ava is right over the wall I don't have her in my garage because it's a little bit cold so I wanted to throw that dad joke in there so new addition to the garage is a baby monitor I had to let dad joke in but anyway back to the build again we are looking at a bar top totally custom this one I'm really proud of again going out to a high school friend by the name of Big T Terrence hit me up on Instagram he goes yo Vic I see you doing your thing big things on instagram please man i do want an arcade i must have an arcade so we basically settled up on a bar top now this one's great all my arcade builds are excellent i do get excited for all the builds this one i do love it when i do make artwork when i do the artwork from the ground up i'm talking like blank slate downloading png files because that's a big key i do need png files if you ever know artwork png files they remove the background they are high res so you do want to always aim for png files um Basically downloading a bunch of PNG files. I did get like somebody commented and I know somebody's gonna comment about this. Um, people comment on like the Marvel versus DC artwork. That artwork is Game Solutions. You could modify it. I could send Ryan a message and say, hey, take out this character. Somebody wrote was like, Spawn isn't DC. What are you doing? Like relax, dude. Every, the biggest thing is that every customer does get mock-ups. They do get like proofs and then the customer does approve them. So I'm bringing this up right now because I know for a fact that there's gonna be such BS haters hating on this artwork because of the theming. Basically, Big T messaged me, and remember, this is where you know customers get full in-depth. When I have customers, I go full hard in-depth. Tell me the T molding, tell me the button colors, do you want LED buttons, what is the artwork you want, et cetera, et cetera. So I messaged Big T and I'm like, yo, what do you want as far as artwork? And he's like, I don't know, Vic, try to think of something. I, I, I can't really think of anything like that. That's really not great on my end because um, there's just so much. So basically he messaged me on Instagram and I felt kind of dumb and I graduated college. He, he goes, Vic, I want an antagonist versus protagonist theme. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> After doing a quick Google search, it's basically kind of like a heroes versus villains kind of idea. And that's where I gave him the idea of, hey, let's do a heroes versus villains artwork style where basically on the left side we got heroes and on the right side we got villains kind of like good guys versus bad guys and stuff so it was kind of funny because again I, I didn't really re recognize the word and a quick google search I got that down now again the big thing when it comes to customers and artwork I'll you know you got to help me you know he literally said antagonist and protagonist so he's a he's really big into fighting games he wants like Darksiders he wants Marvel versus Capcom he wants like X-Men Children of Adam and obviously he asked me before I even started, he's like, does this have it? I said, yes, definitely does. So he is into his fighting game. So I knew off the bat, we're looking at like fighting game style. He's not really much into like comic book characters. I mean, he did want to throw in one or two, but his big thing was, he said, Vic, whoever is on this, the artwork has to be an actual character within this arcade. So he didn't want me to put like random characters that weren't going to actually be in a game on the arcade. So I'm gonna take you in closer, obviously, to look at the artwork, but again, when it gets to artwork, I do go in depth. A lot of PNGs, a lot of proofs being sent out, and that's just, that's just part of the business, because again, it is your arcade. Everybody wants their own personal custom arcade cabinet, and you just gotta kinda help me get the ball rolling as far as what exact artwork you want. I originally, again, he was a big, he's a big fighting fan. He wants Marvel vs. Capcom and stuff, so I started looking at Marvel vs. Capcom artwork, and uh, Game of Solutions has one of the stock. It's basically Marvel, like all the Marvel characters looking to the side, and then all the Capcom uh, characters looking to the other side. And I tried to mimic that. I didn't want to just copy and paste it. I tried to mimic it, but I was like, you know what? It's, it wasn't really going the way I was planning. So the cool thing with Marvel versus Capcom is their actual marquee. I'll put a, a flesher real quick. Their marquee has like six characters on the, on the top, but the characters are like in a box, kind of jumping out of the box, giving like that 3D effect that they're jumping out. So I was like, you know what, man? Let's do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna put a couple of characters and they're gonna put them jumping out of a box. And that honestly is how I came up with the artwork on this. 
enough selfie mode. Let's take a closer look at the artwork on this one. So now off the bat, we'll take a look real quick. So check it out again, heroes versus villains. He definitely liked what I did with the heat miser build I did about a year ago, where basically T molding merging together. We got blue side on the left and right side on the right. You could literally see I got blue T molding on the left, red on the right. It just, it, it looks great right in the middle. We got our thunderbolt where the versus is and all that. So again, heroes versus villains. We got it all here. Definitely kind of going with this blue and red theme. We'll take a look at real quick at the hero side. And again, going as far as, I mean, I'll, we'll, we'll go through it real quick just to kind of show it off. And again, obviously there will be a promo video, which you can see later on. Again, just want to show you the artwork before I kind of break it down on the creativity idea on it. So we got the villain side here. And again, the greatest thing is that Big T telling me all the characters that he wanted. So again, let's take a quick breakdown of what I was talking about with the Marvel versus Capcom idea. So Marvel versus Capcom, it has like, you know, the characters are jumping out of this box, giving like a 3D effect. So if you take a look real carefully, like up here again, I have Marvel versus Capcom characters here. We got Spider-Man in the box, but we have like Wolverine claws coming out. Captain America hand out of the box, giving you that 3D effect. Biggest one you could really see it was with Mario. Mario in the box, but arms out. Same thing with DK here. Again, we have in the back here, bottom here, I should say is Street Fighter themed. Got a couple more, Castlevania. And then we do have our Punisher. So now what I was saying about the haters, they're gonna be like, oh, Vic, uh, Hulk isn't a hero. Uh, uh, DK isn't a hero. This is where you need to relax. Again, Big T sending me all the characters. So I started and he honestly added way more characters, meaning he gave me characters that he wanted on the artwork. It wasn't me just guessing and throwing characters in. In the beginning, it was that, but then I said to him, Big T, help me out, bro. I need some help with your characters because I could either put two characters or I believe right now is about 10 to 11 characters on this. And it came out pretty cool. Again, the main vision was to get down the Marvel versus Capcom box theming going on. So again, hero side, I'm gonna go to the villain side here. And again, I do try to keep it, um, what's the word I wanna use? Coordinated. You know, basically like we have DK in the middle, so Nintendo is in the middle, Marvel versus Capcom characters here, Street Fighter here. So again, like somebody's gonna be like, oh, Zangief isn't a villain. Uh, he made an appearance in Wreck-It Ralph as a villain thing, but he's not a villain. Again, customers send me the artwork that they request. My job is to just make it look good. So again, you kind of see it here. Um, wow, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Venom. <laughs> you can see what Venom's arm is out of the box, giving that 3D effect. Again, a little bit of comic book reference here. And then same thing down here. Castlevania, he wanted. I always, he, I, I forgot the girl's name. Um, but yes, as you can see, villain side. So again, it all starts, like again, as far as artwork, it all starts with a base. So the real, if you look very carefully, the background of this is really this, this kind of red arrow. Uh, again, you kind of see it here, but then I added the blocks. So you could actually see the arrow here. So there's always a base. That's where honestly it came down to the control panel. Again, blue arrow, same thing here, blue arrow. So looking up online, I did find some great kind of abstracts and red and blue on that. Continued it here again the red and the blue basically when it came time for it even on top I should say see that we got the arrows there when it came time for like boxing out I got this nice carbon fiber box out and then I um, uh, What's the word I want to use I exposured it to flip it to white so again It was gonna be too much black if I did all black boxes So I kind of added this kind of white chrome looking background so Again, as far as artwork, totally custom, totally made. Now, the big thing to understand is that, yes, Game Room Solutions did print this cabinet, and I am not an idiot. I learned from my mistakes in the beginning. Any customer with mine, basically, I'm not going to say I give you a discount, but um, if you are looking for a budget price, the deal I make is that I must put my logos. So my logos, you know, depending on the price, I'll, I'll take my logos out, but for Big T, because again, he is a high school friend, I'm hooking him up a little bit 
But part of the agreement is, yes, I do have to put my logos. I also do that because again, the future is I'm gonna be able to print my own stuff and make my own cabinets. This came from Gaming Solutions and then learning from the mistake, I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, basically, I opacity my logos low. So if you do see this on Gaming Solutions, no, it's not just there, but if you look very carefully, it's, it's a couple hidden spots. You can't really see it off the bat unless you really look at it, but right there is my logo. And I always put it in a spot where Game Room Solutions has to do what they do with my Street Fighter cabinet where they just kind of put a block over it. You can't really just paint over that. So you kind of see it there. Definitely with the Heroes versus Villains marquee up top. Again, Vic VP, Game Case Arcades. Same thing with control panels here. Again, always hitting a groove. As you can see, that's just my little secret. Again, customers understand when they do message me, you know, I do go over the details as far as putting my logo or not. So you do have the option of not putting it, but this one really is a hookup for a friend and also to make sure that Game Room Solutions does not take my artwork again. So here on the villain side, you can see it there. So it is faint. I mean, if you're back here, you don't really see it, but up close and personal, you do see it. Again, this is a bar top, 22 inch bar top, LED buttons. This is running a Raspberry Pi. Um, and again, we do have the PlayStation style controllers. That's the biggest thing I always get to comment. Vic, why does it say PlayStation style? Cause it's not a real PlayStation controller. As you can see, it is not a real PlayStation controller. Real PlayStation controllers cost some money and these are the cheaper ends. And honestly, these are just easier to connect and stuff. So again, PlayStation style controllers for four player action on the Raspberry Pi build. Now, as far as this build, we do have the Z313 speakers. So very nice and easy. We got our headphone jack up here. Everything's nice and neat. Got the LED um, controller up top, the LED center up top. So if I wanted to do, let's just say white, I could put all white. LED buttons hooked up to the blue channel. So anytime the machine is blue, LED buttons will turn on. So if it's red, LED buttons go off. That you'll see in a video a while back, talking about how I basically link up the LEDs to the LED strip. Now, real quick note about Game of Solutions Bar Top. I guess they did a revision and uh, I wasn't aware of it. I'm gonna turn this cabin around real quick. Give me one second. So now the one thing I did notice about this cabinet is that there is no longer a hinged door. This thing just drops down. Unlike Eugene's bar top, all, unlike all the other bar tops, this right here is a little upsetting. I'm not a fan of this design. Not to mention the back door is half inch. This is half inch MDF. I don't know why Game Room Solutions did this call. At first I thought they sent me the wrong bar top. I thought they sent me like the 19 inch one, but as you can see, this is three quarter inch as far as your regular cabinet. But then the door is half inch with this kind of fold. And honestly, when it comes to a PC build now, I'm gonna have to request the old style, putting fans in this and then, you know, it's gonna be really more wiring, um, longer wiring, I should say, if I do PC fans, but that was kind of the first thing I noticed. Um, the speaker now, the subwoofer has to go in more. Uh, it was just it was just left field. I, I wasn't expect, uh, expecting that. The first thing I opened, when I opened up the box was I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I hope they didn't make their bar tops half inch because that's just gonna be brutal if the whole cabinet was half inch instead of three quarter. Um, just a little note really. But again, clean wiring as always, LED strips. We got the Z313 stapled down, zip tied down, everything this way in transit. Not too bad. We got our Raspberry Pi up here. Again, easy stuff, basic stuff. The other thing is you can see like, it's, it's kind of difficult to push in. Again, half inch door. I'm gonna definitely do it with two hands before I throw it off the, <laughs> if I push it off the, the edge. But uh, there you have it. I mean, even, even this, honestly, um, you know, if we put the actual power switch, which I didn't do on this, I never do that for bar top builds. I always get the six foot extension cable. So I don't really need the actual rocker switch here. But even if you put the rocker switch, you're gonna have to anticipate extra wiring, which 
not really a fan of that. Uh, again, a little downside to the new bar top design as far as game room solutions. So again, looking at this, this is running a track mode on it. So basically set to 25 seconds. After 25 seconds, you do get nice kind of visuals as far as actual games that are inside of the system here. Again, plays consoles, Super Nintendo and such. Again, just a solid, solid arcade. Uh, biggest thing, Big T, basically, he was giving me a list. Uh, first thing on his list, honestly, he wanted X-Men uh, Children of Adam. So I'm going to go to that real quick. We're going to use my skip letter function that I put in all my arcades because going through 2,200 games, holding down the joystick is a brutal task. So you definitely want to get that um, letter skip going. So we're going to go to V, W, X. I'm going to go down. I could have went to Z and I should have went to Z, but... His big game that he wanted to play was X-Men Children of Adam. So one button, I'm gonna let that load. We'll bump the volume a little bit. Baby's okay. <laughs> and again, this will boot up just like the actual arcade would. So you might get some warning signs and all that, just like that. So again, two player action on this. So I didn't press player one. Oh, let's, can I join in? Yes. I put extra coins in. Again, trying to... I'm actually excited for this one. I never personally played this. And uh, it's pretty cool because I always, you know, do Street Fighter and all that. But playing different fighting games is definitely something to notice. So, again, X-Men versus Children of Adam. And I can't do a Hadouken. <laughs> but one-hand and all that. Easy stuff. So we're gonna exit out, hockey exit. I'm gonna go now. He did ask me for another game. And again, that's usually how it goes with customers. They usually send me a list and they're like, hey Vic, does it play this? Hey Vic, does it play that? So one game that he did want was Darksiders. Um, and I believe there is artwork of a, not Darksiders, Darkstalkers, I'm sorry. Darkstalkers, there is a character from this game on it again going to what i was saying his big deal was he wants artwork characters on the cabinet that are actually in game on the system so dark stalker sorry i said ciders people are like what are you talking about Vic? and the character is lord raptor that's who is there so we do have lord raptor right there oof Great. Just getting my butt kicked. <laughs> so now we got some, again, four player action on this. So big thing when it comes to NBA Jam, which is a very popular game. Regular NBA Jam I have set to two players. NBA Jam Tournament Edition set to four players. So if you do launch Tournament Edition, all four players will work. The only big thing is that basically player one and player two is here. This is why I do this mod, um, basically where there's four players on one option and two players on another, because with this, you basically have player one and two, which is on the same team on the arcade sticks. Then players three and four are on the PlayStation controller. So just something to notice as far as that. If I do exit, and I launch regular NBA Jam, that's gonna be set to two players only, which basically then is perfect for the arcade panel because player one versus player two, and that's honestly where things get very serious when you get to NBA Jam. So again, if I go here, as you can see, we could add the coins, put more in, awesome. So we're gonna do no, and again, just to kind of show off just like any other arcade game, you kind of figure out what button does what. But again, an example here of two-player ROM, four-player ROM. So this really is like awesome because, you know, two players side-by-side -side versing each other is definitely an amazing feeling when you are running. Oh, uh, oh, uh, take the shot, take the shot. <laughs> Again, as far as NBA Jam, you have to kind of figure out what your button is. I believe it's, that's pass. I'm guessing button one is gonna be my shot. 
So I get this question asked a lot as far as consoles and if they are playable. Um, so it's kind of funny how this works. Again, Raspberry Pi builds, I always put the two wireless controllers. These are playable. It's just growing up, you never played NES with arcade sticks. Um, so again, right now it is set to the arcade sticks. There is, I have a video on how to switch to the PlayStation controllers. Um, but you'd be surprised that there are some people that actually want to play these games with like the arcade sticks, which to me is not really the right way to play these games. It's not really that enjoyable. Is it doable? Yes. I'm going to load up like, for example, uh, Super Mario. That is doable. Is it enjoyable? Maybe. Um, you know, luckily like NES with two buttons is not too bad. Uh, playing, you know, N64, for example, that's that's a brutal thing to do, honestly, on this. Do -do 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 -do. So big thing again, it's set up to, you gotta kind of figure out what button it is, but it is Super Nintendo buttons. Well, this is the NES though, so it's kind of B and A here, or A and B. I always get those mixed up. So you're aiming for these two here. So let's see real quick. So again, I'm using this button to run. This button is to jump. So run and jump, see? So I'm gonna wait for this thing. Yeah, see? And you can even see the run meter. And again, as you can see, playing with the arcade sticks, it is doable. Is it enjoyable? A little bit, yes. I mean, me personally, I'd rather play with a D-pad on it. But again, load states and save states. So let's say you wanna jump back. You can see it lunch back to it. So again, load and save states, another cool feature. Um, big thing again, Big T is a fan of his fighting games. So there is an option for collections. And when you are in collections, uh, there's a couple you could do like all your Street Fighter games. There's sports. So if I go into Street Fighter, for example, this shows all the Street Fighter games within the entire system, all the systems. So Game Boy, Arcade, Sega Genesis. Again, it makes basically finding games or genres a little bit nicer and a little bit easier. If I go back, uh, we're gonna go, there is one, I mean, it, it, it says fighting games. Um, the only thing is that it does add um, beat em ups to the fighting game. So if I could spell, that'd be great. I'm gonna go into, do, 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 do. I'm gonna go to Fatal Fury. I'll go to the right. And as you can see, we have fighting games. So again, these have all the fighting games. There's 805 fighting games, but there are a couple of games that are beat em ups. Again, they are technically fighting games, such as, for example, TMNT. Um, but again, a lot of people that play this are really looking for like actual fighting games, such as Street Fighter style games where you're versing each other and beating each other up. Again, just checking out the collections wheel on it. Big T got excited when he saw PlayStation, Capcom versus SNK Pro. Again, plays, plays pretty well on the Raspberry Pi. Again, heroes versus villain. This is an awesome cabinet. Definitely loving it. Digging the artwork. Everything very well coordinated and stuff. We're gonna wait for a PlayStation 1 to load. You'll get your SD card errors and all that. Yes, yeah, so you see it says now loading. Press our start button. Do arcade. Again, same thing. This is PlayStation had, I don't know, 10 buttons on it. And again, you only have six on your arcade. So you gotta keep that in mind as far as playing consoles such as PlayStation on an arcade. So I'll run with Capcom. Oh, okay. I must do just Ryu and somebody else, but screw it. Again, not too bad. Again, a Raspberry Pi. Can't really expect amazingness. This won't play GameCube. This won't play the Wii. I don't care what you say. It, it will never really play N64. Bump the volume while we were talking. Can I throw a one hand at a Dugan here? <laughs> oh. oh, I can never do a reverse Hadouken. <laughs> okay. All right, not too bad after a couple of... There we go. I could do it if I'm on the left. <laughs> there you go. So pretty cool. As you can see, we got PlayStation 1 going. Again, VicVP Game Case Arcades Heroes versus Villain going out to Big T. Cardoza, stand up.